Hi everyone, Izzy Noodles here. Welcome to a brand new walkthrough. I'm doing Forgotten Remnants, which caught my attention because it's a continuation of an official Tomb Raider release. Alright, so we start off in this shaft. We've just taken an elevator from somewhere. And if we have a look in the inventory, we've got some very fancy looking pistols. We've got three flares, which there are no more pickups in the entire game for flares, so use them wisely. We start off with plenty of med packs, and it's incredibly easy to do this game without using any med packs. And we've also got Werner's notebook, so you can load and save, and you can use it. So let's have a look. So Lara's already been scribbling in there. Uh, I won't read out the whole thing, and also if you do want to read it, I advise you pause the video. <laughs> so basically this page says that uh, Lara's found a new cation of uh, the Lux Veritatis and it explains that Eckhard may have already found it but Lara will travel to that location anyway just to have a look. Just cuz. And it's also told us whereabouts we are in the world. We're on the border of Germany and the Czech Republic. So. Also there are all of these bats here. I think there's about three here. There we go. They are very stubborn. So from here you can go right or you can climb that ladder and have a look up the top. Or you can go straight forward. Or you can go to the left. I will go to the left. So basically in this level we want to find three lift plugs to be able to get out of the mine. We've got a rat here that comes out of that little doorway. I will bypass that for now. And around here is where we want to place the lift plugs once we found them. Load more bats. It's all about the bats. Okay. And also on the ground you can see that there is a trap door here, but we cannot interact with it. That needs to be opened from the other side. So now if, if we come into the room that I bypassed, there's a wheel here. If we turn that. All it's done is turn some lights on. We actually need three wheels all together and they will fill a pit of water or fill a pit with water so we can progress to another area. So coming straight on from here we've got a rat and a bat. Okay it's very dark down here so I will light a flare. Shoot them and this is secret number one. All right. Uh -huh. So in this darker area, we've got another wheel. All right, got a bit more light as well now. And continuing along this way. Over this barrier, that's what we want to fill with water. You can go down there right now without the water. There is one item down there, but there isn't much point. You also can't get to your uh, destination, the next area, by doing that. Alright, so you can hear the water now. And to get up and down there, there is a ladder down that hole in front. Uh -huh. Also on the ground, there's a piece of paper. So let's have a look. That's in Inferno's notebook. Uh, we've got part of a miner's diary. So basically that says the technician keeps breaking stuff. Well done. <laughs> and a lift plug has disappeared. And the boss it was furious about it and he keeps... Uh, he gets really creepy when he's angry and the technician looked as though he was about to have a mental breakdown and he was last seen two days ago. Sorry I stumbled all over my words there. So, well done technician. Here we go, so we've got this box in the corner as well that we can take stuff out of and we've got a desert eagle. It's a very fancy desert eagle. It's a Mark 7. 
So now we can jump over here into the water. This bubbling plant on the ground here has one of the fuse plugs. It's not a fuse plug, it's a lift plug. That's what we need. We need three of them. And if we come over to here, we can progress. Be careful of this ledge. And now you just want to do a running jump over to that broken ladder. Alright. So, progressing, we still have more rats than bats. I think they're all bats here, actually. Did I get them? A yes. So, in these boxes, there is some Desert Eagle ammo, and in this little box you can interact with... What do we have? I can't remember. <laughs> a laser sight! So that is exactly what we need. And if we come up to this uh, grated fence thing here, chain link fence, you can see a laboratory. Now you can't get in from this side, you have to get in from the other side. But you can just see it's blocked off at the end there. But that's the only way in. So to unblock it, there we go. Crikey. So lots of explosions. That is how you get into the laboratory. So I won't be going there just yet. You can do. You can go straight there. Also, you see this trapdoor we can interact with. Do not open that if you want the secret. So the secret is right in here. So if you do open it, you can climb into the gap, but you can't climb out again. Because uh, there's a very long drop down there. Okay, so now you can open the trapdoor. I always like to save here. Alright, so grab the ladder here and make your way down. And there is a boulder trap here, so I'd just like to take a step to the left and sprint. There is a little cubby there. Okay. <laughs> And now just equip your pistols, because I've got the Desert Eagle equipped. There is a bat. So careful about your running jump to this ledge, because you can overshoot. And now you do need to do a, a running jump to here. And we've got a rope! Yay! So, the ropes aren't too bad in this one. So it's obvious where you want to go to. We've also got some more rats and bats. They're just bats it looks like. Okay. So we've got this gate that we want to open. Also in front of the gate there is page 2 of the diary. So let's have a look. It basically says the technician has gone and another fuse is missing. The last time anyone saw the technician, he was on his way to the boss's office. The boss is wandering around with an evil grin on his face, which is creeping everyone out. And the writer of this diary has also said that I have hidden the last plug in one of the boxes in the room with the second lift. So, we know where one of the plugs is. We just have to get there. You can just see up there, there is a jump switch which will open the gate, but we can't actually get there just yet. And also there is barbed wire right below that. So this switch here, uh, you'll see what it does. I didn't notice what it did the first time I played because I was so busy looking at the jump switch. It raises that platform. <laughs> I had no idea what it did the first time I played. So we actually want to find a block to put over the barbed wire so we do not get impaled by the barbed wire. Come to the ladder here and climb up. In the description I will also put a link to uh, my blind playthrough of this which is on Twitch. The reason I didn't put it on YouTube is because the audio actually came out very very terrible. 
sounds awful, but if you do want to check it out, there is a link in the description. Okay, so here is the block we want. And we want to just give it a shove down that hole. Okay, nearly there. Pushing blocks is just so long-winded in Tomb Raider games. Okay. So you just want to push this all the way onto the barbed wire. <laughs> Alright, and we will take a little bit of damage here. There, yeah, I'm not really certain on the logic of that, but never mind. Just run back to the ladder again. So then we can reach the jump switch. Here we go. There is another rat. Okay. And now we've got a lava situation going on. You want to just jump to one of the sides and keep jumping till you reach the flat section. There is also a bat here, which is why I've got my pistols out. If you land too far on the slopey part and you slide off, try and put your guns away as soon as you can so you can grab the edge of that ledge. Alright, so here is the second elevator. This is our way out of here, once we find the plugs. So that entry mentioned that there is a fuse plug in here. It is amongst all these boxes in this really tiny box. Awesome. So one more to find, and then we can use this elevator. So from this ladder, you don't want to climb all the way to the top because you need to do a backflip and she might bang her head on the ceiling. So just flip back and grab. Oh no! Ah. Awesome! Okay. And there is this lever here. This switch. What does it do? opens that trap door right there. So once we climb out of here we'll know where we are immediately. Ta-da! So this is where we're gonna place the plugs. And now there are two ways we've not been yet. So there's the upper one and the lower one. I will first show you the lower one. We've got a bat here. And straight across the way there, that's where the laboratory is. And we can tell that we need to jump across these ledges to get there. But we actually want a rope. So at the top is where we're going to produce our rope from. But before I go up there, there is this grate here. It's a lighter flare, it's a little bit dark. And um, she can't do the sprint roll in this game, unfortunately, but you don't really need it very much in this game at all. Not many crawl spaces. And here we go, here's the box with our secret. Nice! So 
So just come back the way you came. Flare's gone out. Don't panic. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Try not to waste your flares. So I have one flare left for the entire game. <laughs> Alright, so just come to the ladder. So there is an item up here that you will need if you want to end the this level. This, this is a two level game. The item is in this box. If you do not pick it up, you cannot end the level and you will have to come down and find it. It is a crowbar. <laughs> it's important. Now here we've got this really odd looking contraption and there's actually this drain on the ground. That thing pointing straight down, that is the rope we want and we want to put it down the drain. So just hold the action button to swing this around and just let go when it's in the right place because if you hold it down continuously she will just keep spinning around in a circle. <laughs> so now that rope is over that drain. So if we come back down to the bottom what do you think might happen? Okay, what does it look like now? We have a rope! That's a very ingenious puzzle design. So, lining myself up. Okay, so there are two ways to go from here. You can aim for the platform on the left, but you have to be perfectly lined up and it can take many, many attempts. So I will just aim for this platform that is right here. You want to just jump onto the slope and grab it and then just shimmy all the way along to this, uh, the other side. So it's a bit more long-winded, but you are guaranteed <laughs> to only have to do it in one attempt. Jump over the railings. We've got many, many rodents here. Look at them all. Okay, so that bat is sometimes inside the laboratory. So here we are, here's the laboratory. So we've got this page on the ground, which I will look at in a moment. And there is this box. What's in this box? It is our last lift plug. Also in the corner there is a page, but oh my gosh. So grab that and get out of there. <laughs> now they're very slow, bless them, so there is no rush. They're lost. So, now just jump back across, because we've got our lift plugs now, and that exi is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to place our lift plugs. Also, if you go into the diary while there is music playing, the music stops. And I'm enjoying this creepy, creepy music. <laughs> so I'll look at the, uh, the pages when the music is finished. Um, another way you can get down is just by dropping into that gap there and um, you can go all the way around to the lift but I'll go back this way just cuz alright <laughs> let's have a look at those pages now so one page is written by the alchemist and it actually says opening the mines was a good idea. This way I can further investigate the area around the monastery without raising suspicion. Looks very tart as whelps, don't even know what's going on down here. And when the time comes, I will hunt them down and let them waste the agony I en taste the agony I endured in the pit. Once they are gone, nothing will stop me from getting the obscure paintings. Alright, very creepy. And page three from our miner 
uh, basically says another shaft has collapsed and the boss has told everyone to leave those that are trapped and he's hit those who have tried to reason to dig out any survivors. Um, the boss has found a way to use the lift without the plugs. What a swizz. We're running around here trying to find them. Uh, also, it also mentions that the miners keep disappearing and Turkish trucks have been seen in the area. Now the Turkish trucks to me doesn't really seem like a big deal. <laughs> But there are some strange goings on in these mines. So I apologise for my poor reading, I'm always stumbling all over my words. Okay, here we go, we just want to make our way and place the lift plugs. So that is now fully working. And to get out of this angle, you actually need to press the look button. Otherwise you will be staring at that lift all day. Okay, so to make your way down here, you can either grab hold of this ledge in front and just drop down. And also this ladder uh, is very buggy, this ladder. Just this one ladder. And you can't just grab it and just gradually let go and keep grabbing to make your way down. Uh, you can only grab it once. So what I do, uh, I take a step back from the edge and do a standing jump and grab. So you can just let go and grab once more and then let go and you won't take damage. Here we go. Just wait for it to go back up. Awesome, and this is the end of the level. So, if you haven't got your crowbar by now, you might want to go back and get it. <laughs> so we need the crowbar on this door. And now just make your way up the slope and you'll get a statistic screen. Here we go, so I found three of six secrets so far. So the six is for the entire game, not just this one level. And to get rid of this screen and move on to the next level, you just want to press the uh, inventory button. And this is now where I'm going to leave the video. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.